Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, you motherfuckers. Oh, the temperature is dropping, boys. It is 38 degrees this morning. I am freezing goat balls. And uh, I'm cold. It is super cold. And this is the worst time of the year. <clears throat> and uh, the reason this is the worst time of the year is, well, number one, my age now, my body tends to be super sore. Like, I can't... Like, how do I describe this? Like, my bones ache. Like, the inside of my bones. So there's like... Yes, I have back pains, and usually it's always been just the muscles that would be sore. Now it's like the inside of my bones are aching. And I guess that's just old age and repetition of continuous wrecks. And it's just getting old. <laughs> and now I can see why when you go out into the skate park or you just go out and you see somebody walking, they're hunched over and they just look like a robot running out of batteries. <clears throat> That's what an old person looks like. And obviously, since I've been riding BMX for 26 years, my body is just going to, compared to another 37 year old, my body's gonna be a little bit worse than theirs because a majority of 37 year olds, let's just be honest, a lot of them have office jobs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're gonna have sore bodies because they're just sitting on their ass all day long and they don't exercise. But they're not overexerting themselves and overly working themselves. So their body is basically a 37 year old comparing to where I'm sitting at in my body. The last time I talked to my daughter, or my daughter, Jesus. The last time that I talked to a doctor, the doctor was saying something of my body being like uh, that of a uh, um, 60 something year old. So my body is basically pretty shitty, but that's what every BMXer has to face. So you know what? There's no sense in me bitching and crying about it because I'm not going to stop riding my bike. So <clears throat> I guess it's something that I have to live with. It just sucks ass. And obviously I'm a girl and I want to complain about things and, uh, it's part of life. Um, I'm drawing blanks today. I have no goddamn clue what to talk about, but I want to make these videos. I want to be persistent. I want to come out with them. I have some ideas for some things that I want to that I want to do. Other than just sitting on here talking, there's some things that I want to do. Uh, number one, I got to clean up my video part. <clears throat> it's down to the wire. There's like a month left, so it's like four weeks which means banger time, but for me, ah, dude, I don't feel like dying. I, I'll be very honest with you, dying does not sound like a good time. Here, hold on, I gotta get some hot chocolate. Hi, Hi, can I get a grande hot coffee? Hot coffee, uh, not coffee, sorry. Uh, a grande hot chocolate with almond milk, no whipped cream. Almond milk, no whipped cream. And then, grande, right? yes, okay. and then can I have a, can I have a confetti cookie? A confetti cookie, no problem, No, thank you. You're all set. All right. Um, <coughs> see that? I want to say coffee so bad. I want a coffee. I'm telling you, smelling coffee and looking at coffee, when you're addicted to something <clears throat> and years go by, like I'm on two years of not having a coffee. Those two years of not having a coffee, when I get around a coffee or I just in the morning and you see the you see the the little bit of smoke and sizzling and you can just smell it oh god i'm telling you i miss a coffee so bad it's the same it's been 20 years it's it's coming on 20 years since the last time that i've smoked weed and just smelling weed or smelling a skunk smells good to me like it's not like oh my god i got to have I, I need a bowl man i want to smoke weed no, it's just like that smell, I really miss it. And 
I used to play, um, <clears throat> I used to play poker machines and like Kino machines. And when I used to play those, I wasn't playing it because I was trying to win money. I treated it like a video game and I was just trying to get the bonuses. So there's certain noises that if I hear those, I get like attracted to it. And it's because I have an addictive personality. That's the hard part. Like, um, just take BMX for, for example. Yes, I'm a little sore. Yes, I shouldn't be riding. But with BMX, I can look around and get excited and want to go ride my bike because I found something that looks weird and it gives me this idea. And it's hard for me not to want to stop. Like today, even though it's cold as shit, the sun's out. So, like, it makes me think, like, hey, take advantage of that, dude. Ooh, it's going to be snowy and rainy and shitty soon. So, if you don't ride your bike and take advantage of that, you're going to miss out. And that's the shitty part is, like, when you're addicted to something, you always feel like you're going to miss out. Or you feel like if you don't get it, it's just going to ruin things. And so, <clears throat> I'm always anxious. Like, that's why I leave my bike in the back of my car because I never know if I want to go and catch a session like it's it's just like that like I don't know how I'm gonna feel or how my day's going so I end up being like "Ooh, I gotta ride I gotta ride so going back my ideas that I do have <clears throat> I do want to make some skits and what I mean by skits is I have some ideas for stupid things that I want to do. So I will do those. And then I'm obviously going to do some, um, I'm going to do some how to's. I had a few people ask me what kind of how to's I should do. By the way, um, tell me down below what kind of how to should I do? How to 360, how to full cab. Obviously y'all want to do full cabs, uh, pull up bars, how to do handrails. Um, just, how to put your bike together, how to keep your mind straight. Like, just ask me how-tos that you want, and I'll come up with some how-tos. Obviously, be a little creative with them because I like to make them fun and exciting, and doing a normal how-to that everyone's done, like a Bunny Hop 360, can be annoying. Uh, hold on, I'm going to pay for my shiznit. Hey, how's it going? Good. It's going to be 704. Thank you. No problem. Oh. oh, it's cold. Oh, this is my worst part. And it's a change. And I'm just waiting on the drink. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys have ideas and things that you guys think you want to see me make or what kind of video you want me to make, let me know. And even if it's uh, how to play video games or how to set up your video games or, I don't know, how to manage your bank account. Thank you. Just ask me for what kind of how-tos and I'll try to do what I can to make a video that's interesting, but also fun and interactive. Like that's just my goal is just to have an all around page that makes things fun. Now, <clears throat> I don't ever want to get stuck in the gimmick thing where a person will come up with the topic like the flaming hoop of fire and you got to hop through the flaming hoop of fire. I'll be very honest with you. There's five or six or seven other YouTubers, they all do that shit. I just don't ever want to be like that or do that. And the reason that I don't want to do any of that is not because I think it's shitty or stupid of them to do it because those guys edit and they put a lot of time and effort, but they're all over the years have been doing kind of the same format where they have their camera, they're talking into it, they come up with ideas, 
they edit them and uh, I guess the type of interaction that they do have is just you guys watching the monotony and the, the chaos, I guess. Other than that, for me, I just, I just don't want to do it that way. I, if you go back and you watch one of my first videos, my first video that I ever uploaded was webisodes. <clears throat> and um, the webisode idea was to go out and do handrails without looking. And I went out and did that. And I brought like 10 of my friends and I had to be mic'd up. I had multiple cameras. We, uh, Me and Scott had to put it together and edit it. And it was like a 12 hour plus a 10 hour filming session. It was a full day. And I just, at the end of it, I loved it. It was really nice, but I knew that I could never keep that charade up. There's just no way in the world I, with my full-time job, can do that. Now, if you go and look at all these successful YouTubers, the reason they're successful is because they don't have jobs. They don't. Now they don't need jobs because they have enough subscribers, which subscribers, by the way, are you, and they make enough money from you guys subscribing and they're monetizing the videos and <clears throat> they're making money off of that, so then they don't have to go get a job. I, on the other hand, will never get that big. I, I, just, I just don't see myself getting thousands and thousands and thousands of subscribers until I do something fucked up and usually that's what happens like something crazy has to happen you know you get a lot of subscribers from it and I also got to go work with other YouTubers like Billy Perry told me that uh, he wanted to film a video with me and wanted me to go and hang out with him and uh, <clears throat> I was supposed to and I didn't and not because I don't want to but a lot of it is, is uh, number one going to Long Island sucks ass and it's going to cost me $40. And number two, I want to do more of the YouTube thing myself and just come up with my own thing and do my own thing. And what I'm doing now is very different. And I'm sure the entertainment value for younger kids is probably not there. And the reason the entertainment is there is because they visually want to see something. They're not in the mood to talk or listen or do something and have some older fucking dude discuss what he thinks about a problem or thinks about a situation. Like some of them are just not ready to listen to things like that. And I just feel like I want to do more of a podcast. I want to have a conversation. I know people wake up in the morning, they're driving. They don't got fucking shit to do with their lives and sometimes they just want to turn their phone on and listen to someone and I want to be the person that the people listen to. So, like I was saying earlier, <clears throat> if you have any suggestions down below in the comments, tell me what kind of uh, how-tos you'd like me to do. And also, if you guys have video ideas, leave them down in the comments below. Seriously, tell me about them. What you guys think I should do next. I... I'm trying to do this shit every single day and um, <clears throat> uh, discussions are like something that I really, 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 really like to have. And I've told you guys before, my channel exists because of you guys. So if we sit on here and we have conversations and you guys come up with topics and give me ideas, I'm gonna be able to make another video. And then making another video, you know me, I can sit here and I can talk for 20 something minutes with, with no problem. You know what I mean? And I try my hardest to not repeat things. I try my hardest to not do the uhs and ums and yas, but <clears throat> it's a part of learning how to do this and a process. And since I don't edit these fucking things, I, I guess I can just get away with whatever I want, which is crazy to say, but it's true. Because if I edited these and cut them down and made them like others, and when I said something and I added in photos and videos to the context of what I'm talking to, it would really, really cut these videos down, but I think it would take away the essence, like the core of them. So <clears throat> I can't do that shit. But uh, yeah, guys, 
Come up with some ideas, formulate some ideas, leave them down below and let me know what you guys want me to do for uh, some how to's or if you guys have ideas for videos. Uh, yesterday, someone suggested that I do a 24 hour video. Um, the only way that I can think of doing a 24 hour video would be to do it live. I don't fucking think my life's that exciting to do a 24 hour video. I literally, I'm gonna guarantee you by like 15 hours in, I'm 100% passing the fuck out. I just, I don't have it in me to stay up all night long. Like when I was younger, I would stay up two days. Uh, the longest I've ever stayed up is almost four days straight. And by the time you get on your third day, you start seeing bubbles. Like, you start hallucinating, and uh, I just don't have the muscle power to do it anymore. I used to deprive myself of sleep, and the reason I told you guys that before is I'm just a hypochondriac. I get really nervous and stuff like that, but lately, I've just been super happy. Um, I made that video on my brother, and so a lot of tension and depression that's been inside of me has been released, and it's these videos are really uplifting for me. It helps me get out a lot of things. It helps me talk about things. And it's just a good conversational piece for me. And if I made <clears throat> a 24-hour video, I physically do not think I can do it. I guarantee you I can give you 15 solid hours. But I don't think I have 15 solid hours of entertainment. I fucking literally know I don't have 15 hours of solid entertainment. But, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, leave me some ideas. Let's talk about those. I'd love to come up with them. Uh, I got a month left for the video, so I gotta go out and start banging some tricks out. Uh, I gotta do it before all this snow shit start or starts. And uh, <clears throat> I love all you guys. Thanks to everybody. I had a few new people, a few new, and to my new subscribers, which is crazy. I'm I'm gaining subscribers somehow. Uh, to my new subscribers, thanks you, thank you guys. And uh, I saw a few people that left comments and I've never seen their names before. Uh, welcome to the page. Keep leaving comments, keep talking to me. Uh, it's like a big family. Uh, people usually DM me in my Instagram, so it's not like I don't notice you guys. But anyway, make sure you guys like this video. Uh, leave the comment. Uh, share it on your Instagram or your Facebook, like I said before. I look at all the numbers and a lot of it comes from Facebook sometimes. So if you got a Facebook, just copy the link, put it in your Facebook, share it. Helps me out a lot. Lets other people see it. Also, uh, your Instagram stories, simple, easy. <clears throat> and uh, that's it, I guess. Oh yeah, push the notification button. The notification button lets YouTube know that people are checking out my videos and it'll get out there more. So it's just another way of helping me. Either way, guys, I love you. I'm on the highway. This shit sucks ass. I'm about to back into someone. Oh, God, how fucking shitty would that be? Get into a car wreck. But I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I have an exciting video. Blah, 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 blah. Have a good day. <laughs>